been about seven weeks since I filmed that last video in the Arctic and I would like to say that I've been relaxing throughout that seven weeks but I haven't. It was about a week to get home and then six weeks of an insane amount of editing, relentlessly working on the laptop 24-7 but I'm very happy with how the series went and I'm glad you guys all enjoyed it. Right now I am just pulling up to the barn because although this van is pretty much finished there was a few little bits that I didn't have time to do before I left so that is what I'm doing today. Right I'm just going to rock up outside for now find out where I can park in there and I'll catch up with you guys shortly. I've done my greetings, said hello to everyone, had a little bit of a catch up and it is now dark but I have got my original spot back in the entrance of the barn. The plan was I was going to stop en route here and film the video whilst camping out somewhere in the middle of nowhere but after loading up this morning I realised I can't even move in here. There is literally stuff everywhere. So the first job is to unload the pigeon's cargo onto the floor. Eggy bread has always been a firm favourite of mine, but let me know in the comments, what do you put on yours? I usually go for Marmite, sometimes maple syrup, but in this situation, I don't have either, so I've gone with honey. The quality of eggs from that farm shop is next level. That chicken's behind must be living the dream. What a delightful treat for my palate on this exuberant morning. I feel very effervescent after that. It may not be a super sunny today, but it's a nice day, which certainly makes a change from what it was like yesterday when I set off to come to the barn. So I've got all my tools and my random bits laid out, ready to go. I've got a nice clean work surface to do some stuff. The only problem is I don't actually know what stuff I'm going to be doing. Now check this out though, right? I usually have this cab curtain down because obviously I'm stealth camping most of the time, but I've opened it up and I put some little window blinds in. Look at the difference it makes with the amount of space that I have in here now. Yeah, a couple of things I do know that I want to do is I want a wardrobe door because I'm fed up with these flapping about and getting cooking smells on them. I also want to sort out this area under here because at the moment it's just a massive cave and I want maybe like dividing shelves or something like that. And I've never really been happy with this wall here. It just looks a bit weird having these two panels. I want something a bit neater along the top there. But finally, let me introduce you to, in fact, hold on. This is a cup of tea. This is an emu. And this is a representation of today's video sponsor, Teemu. And it's not even wasted because we have a friend who wants to have it as a pet. So I don't know about you guys, but over the last year or so, I always see Team You popping up on my social media news feeds. And I'm always wondering what it's about. It's just like ridiculously cheap items and just like a massive selection of stuff. But recently they reached out to me and they gave me some vouchers and said I can spend it on whatever I want. Now this is something that I've always wanted, right? I was going to buy one for £120 and then I found this one for 50 quid on TMU. It's a trail camera, right? So you might catch a wild deer knocking past, a fox foraging in the undergrowth or an escaped prisoner trying to gain access to your van. Next up, we have this. I've always wanted one of these as well. This is a night vision camera. That was only 47 quid. We're gonna test that later tonight. This is a dash cam. You all know what a dash cam is. It's 19.99. This, I wouldn't have been able to build this van without one of these, right? All of these units, I used one of those. You put it inside and it tells you the exact distance between two points. And when I borrowed one off this geezer, he told me it was a few hundred quid, so be very careful with it. This was 19.99, so I now have my own. This is obviously just a little lamp. You can cycle through all different colors. That was nine pounds. This is a draining board, pops out like that, and it's a fiver. Oh, and this, 90 pence. It's a waterproof backpack cover, so my camera bag can stay fully protected when I'm out and about. And from what I can see, everything is perfectly good quality. I mean, look, it's not gonna be top of the range gear for that price, but that's not what it's about. It's about getting the things that you need to get and not breaking the bank. So I'll stick a link down in the description below if you want to go and check that out. Good morning, people. I am aware 
I didn't film anything yesterday other than that little bit in the morning. There is a reason for that. I decided I was going to put down the camera and I was going to have an extremely productive day. So you just wait until you see. Cool, it's a bit dark in here. You just wait until you see what I've managed to achieve in just 24 hours. Nothing. That is right. I have achieved nothing. I haven't even started to pick up at all. But I did test out my night vision camera last night. Okay, let's do a little test on this night vision. So that is Henry the Hoover. If I reach up behind me and switch out the light, it's now pitch black in here. I'm gonna grab the old night vision scope, aim it at Henry's head, and there she goes, clear as day. And I placed my trap camera in the kitchen. It is down here because yesterday we saw a little mouse running out here. So I'm hoping we have caught ourselves a little squeaker. Okay, the memory card is in the drive. Let's see what we've captured. Wait a sec, about 30 videos on here. Right, most of these are just humans' feet. There must have been people going in to make coffees or whatever this morning. But I found an animal. It's not a mouse. It's a feline. This is right. Everyone keeps saying they're finding like paw prints up on the side in the kitchen. I found the culprit. Okay, enough messing around. It is time to crack on and do some stuff. So, well, I've emptied all my stuff out. The first job, I'm going to make a door for the wardrobe. Also known as a door drobe. And then this cavern down the bottom, because there's a pipe going across the back of it as well, and obviously all these wires, I want to section off the right hand side, so there'll be a dividing wall there. In there I'm going to make some sort of charging shelf. And in the left hand side that'll be for more clothes, so I need another door to go on the front. I'm in my building hoodie, that's how serious things have gone. This is one of my last bits of this nice wood, and it's too expensive to buy another big sheet, so if I mess this up, is game over. Okay, where are we? Oh, we're in the barn. That's where we are. One last measurement to check. Where's my saw? It's been so long, I've forgotten how to work this little beauty. Is it set to the right depth? That is the main thing. Probably is the answer. If I remember correctly, that's how she goes on there. I suppose we better get some eyewear. Right, this is all I've got, so it will have to do. Right, that's about enough for the morning's work. Let's get some lunch. Oh, I can't eat that. I've got to say though, you can taste the difference because compared to something like dog food, hound fuel, that is disgusting. So that cut seems to have come out perfectly as long as it's the right size. Cut number two. I'm only joking, I've stopped eating snacks. The moment of truth. Am I a professional Dorist? Yes, I am! Right, it's time for a quick break. It's thirsty work, all of this building malarkey. Now, the problem I've got is I've just realised I don't own any, what are they called, hinges for cupboard doors. So I'm just going to cut them out for now and I'll have to figure that bit out later. Oh, that reminds me, sitting in the front like this, I have sprung a leak. I don't mean I've had a trouser accident, but after it rained the other day real heavy, it was started dripping out of here and along the end, I think it's running along between the two. My only guess at the moment is that it's getting through where the aerial comes in, so I'm going to go and seal that up in the hope that that fixes it. Yet another job done. I am soaring through this work like an absolute professional. But now it's time to use the laser tape measure. So basically in here we need to get the measurement from the floor of it up into the inside of that bit. So the only way to do it accurately is you stick that there, you press the button once, you press the button twice and it says 36.7 centimetres. You cannot get more precise than that. She fits like an absolute glove. What is that doing there? Oh! Save me! I have now made a charging drawer, so this is going to slide in and out just like that. And it's basically where I'm going to keep all my batteries for my cameras, my drones and all of that fun stuff. But I need to order some drawer slides and some hinges for the main doors as well. So for now, that's pretty much all I can do on that bit. So I think I'm going to jump online and order those bits and spend the rest of the day editing.
Good morning, well, good lunchtime, and welcome to a productive day. I've already made a start today, check this out. This is my bed. This is my van without the bed. I've had to take it all out and get access to some of these bits. And one of the first jobs is I've had to rip this carpet back down above the rear doors because behind there, that's the only part of the van I never insulated. And I don't know why I didn't. So now I'm gonna redo that and stick the carpet back up. And just like that, she has been stuffed like a Christmas turkey. And now the traumatic surgery has finished. The open flap has been reattached with surgical precision. I've also got the hinges and and some draw slides turning up today and tomorrow. And the other thing that I need to do in the back here is neaten up these cables. These are the new cables I had to put in in the middle of France in some random car park to fix the heating or try and fix the heating. And they're just loose over the top. So I want to reroute those with all the rest of the cables poking out of the board so that that's a little bit neater. Another job well done. She's now being fed straight out of that gap there and directly onto the battery. Since the bed is out, I'm gonna take this opportunity to hoover up in the back, construct it all back together, and then I'm gonna go see if my hinges have turned up. As you can see, it is now dark. What happened was, well, obviously the earth rotated a bit, but basically the Amazon package didn't turn up, so I thought it's nice weather. Well, it was nice weather. So I pulled the van out to this little bit here, opened up the back doors and just laid on the bed, chilling out for the evening, really. So for me, it is back to the editing station and then hopefully tomorrow morning, the Amazon delivery will arrive. Good morning once again, people. We, we, we. me and Mel, we are geniuses. I'm Becky. <laughs> oh, I'm Becky. We have created a new security system for the barn. Now close the doors, please, Mel. They all, they all shut nicely. No one's getting in here. Nobody can now get into the barn and I want to come in. So what happens now? We have to open them up. Come in, sir. But what I was really doing or what we were really doing is testing out my new hinges. This is how it's going to work. Well, I'm just going to transfer that to the van. I've got the hinges in place here. I've made two little marks here and down there somewhere. So do you need it out or in? Uh, the tiniest bit away. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Okay. That should be enough to hold it, right? Look at that. So I've now just fitted these magnetic catches as well. So she stays closed like a beauty. I've just got to get some black edging to edge it all off, just like I have done with everything else. And I was going to cover up the back of it as well, where there's that mismatch of all the different materials. But when my clothes are in there, you just don't see it. And I can't be bothered. But another thing I'm going to do is I think I'm going to add some sort of mirror there so that before I start filming every day, I can turn myself into a beautiful butterfly instead of a haggard porcupine. So this bit down here is probably going to go extremely wrong. I've made a little thing right out of some wood as my guide and I've screwed a, I don't even know what that's called, a thing. And now I've used this same thing to measure the correct distance to attach this thing to this thing. So this entire thing slots in here, hopefully parallel to that thing. They look pretty well lined up, if you ask me. And then this thing, which I know what this is called, this is a shelf, goes in here, right? And then basically that's going to pull out charge all my stuff on top slide it back in it's a soft close draw system but before attaching that to the things i have to attach these things to the bottom of this thing but i have no idea how to do that bit so i'm gonna have to wait till the morning when aid is here he's the owner of this place and a woodworking wizard and hopefully he'll be able to help me out Good morning people, you will never guess what has happened now. I was determined to capture some more wildlife on the camera, so I put it down here, I put a bit of bread there, and next to it I put a custard cream. But the custard cream has gone. I was hoping it was going to end up the dinner of a delightful mouse. But I was watching back the footage and a cat, the same cat, walked into the shop, picked up the custard cream, started sniffing around, had a little nibble, but then... He left it and he walked off and moments later Right, I think I've figured it out. Aid's not here yet, but I've drilled a little hole in the end of the shelf bit and that slots into there and then at the other end I've figured out where this plastic thing goes 
and it's about there. So if I just drill that into the wood, then with a bit of luck, life will fix itself and we will have a working slidey thing. So to make sure this dividing bit is nice and level, I've got a triangle thing at the back for the upright. And then just to make sure it is correct width, I've got my laser measure to do the front and to do the back so that I know it's in a straight line. The final piece of the puzzle is now in place. I've just made this little door to go down on the bottom section. This I can't show you properly because there was only room for one of those bits of plastic underneath. You're supposed to have two, so I've had to glue the other side. It does slide in and out and it's a soft closed drawer, but I'm not going to put it all the way in until that's dry. But that concludes everything that I needed to do in the barn. When I get home, there's a little extra couple of bits that I can do, which is basically getting this black silicon edging and applying that to all of the new bits. I also need to get a little trim piece to go along the edge of the wood here. And for now that is enough. And then I'm going to go off on a new adventure and I'll let you know real soon what that's going to be and then at some point in the near future i'm just going to finish off that top there a bit nicer put in a strip light and i also want to put a little strip light underneath this data center and then finally i just want some lighting in the garage area so it's a little bit easier to see what i'm doing when it's dark but that concludes my session here at the barn as you can see everyone behind me is working really hard we've got one two three four five and the only person that's actually working is sean but as always, thank you guys so much for watching. It is hugely appreciated. I'm gonna see you guys next week for another video in the UK. And then I may head off into the distance. I'm not too sure yet, but I'm gonna update you on the plans next time I see you.